Hello and welcome on the Polish Foodies YouTube channel. My name is Karolina and this is my husband Patrick. This is our first video together, I think. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this video will be all about the Polish beer. We will try to choose the best Polish beer. To be honest, I was reading about the beer for a few weeks now. So I've learned a lot and I also want to give you a little introduction at the beginning. Uh, so here are like 24 Polish beers that we chose to uh, try and in here we have a uh, um, low fermented beer lagers they are the most popular uh, beers uh, all over the world and here are top fermented beers also known as ales they are less popular but this kind of beer uh, top fermented they are much older uh, and they they are also quicker to make uh, they are some uh, usually stronger, they have more flavors, so it's not something everybody will like. And lagers are definitely more popular because they are uh, lighter and they uh, mostly have a golden color. And they are not so bitter, so this is uh, the beer I think most people will like. Uh, so. We didn't know how to make this video because there are so much things to talk about. Yeah, we are not experts, but <laughs> yeah. we have a lot of experience from our studies to, you know, we know something about the beers. <laughs> yeah, so uh, just to try, at the beginning we want to make a blind test. So we will uh, try seven most popular Polish lagers and we will see which one we like more, the most. Uh, so yeah, right right now uh, we will cut this video and come back to you when we leave only these seven beers to try. So our video stopped recording, so we are not sure what we have already recorded and what not. We are doing a blind test and uh, we have tried these two beers so far and I like Womja the most because it uh, didn't let the strong flavor in my mouth. What do you like the most so far? I think that the leg is better because have better smell of fruits and uh, Wonja doesn't have any smell for okay. me. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, try with Żybiet. It smells the best, I think. It's mm. Look at the smell. I'm not sure. <laughs> so this, still, still the leg is the, the best smell for me. So for me, Zibiet uh, <laughs> is a beer I wanted to take a second and a third sip. So, okay, and Zrup, this is the best selling beer in Poland. Oh, but it doesn't taste good in my opinion. What smell is? For nice. me, it doesn't smell at all. Yeah, and also don't have any taste for me. Yes. Compared to, to other. other beers, <laughs> yeah. Tatra. For me, it's like the fake taste. It doesn't taste like beer. Yeah, maybe mix some alcohol with with water. And, yeah, it and, also has the color. corn inside, so maybe that's it because of the corn. And the last one, Varka. So I won't say a word, no, it's your choice to say the first. Mm. It's also doesn't have a smell or taste of a beer. It's a mix of water and something, but definitely not worth to try. Okay, so which one uh, do you choose for the final, like the uh, competition because for me I want to try this two again, Żywiec and Tłomża. So I will try the Lech and Żywiec because Okay, so, like... so let's choose the winner from this three. three. May maybe we'll agree. Yeah. So <laughs> go ahead, you should so, try first. One thing more. Mm. So it's worth to know that Żywiec is a beer, but uh, there is also a popular water, bottled water in Poland called Żywiec. 
Did mm-hmm. you read if it's from same source? Mm-hmm. The, this water. The, the I, I I have no idea, but Jivet is also name of the town, so maybe. Yeah, probably Where they use they the are... mineral water, or it's not mm-hmm. mineral, but they are they are producing this in Jivet town, so maybe, maybe because it's it's like the mountain town, so I think they have quality of water. Okay, so now my turn. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have a first and second and the third? Uh, I have the third, but first and s- okay. second, uh, I will t- okay. try one more time. Okay. So this is the taste of my uh, college times. I was drinking a lot of uh, like beer and I like it. <laughs> Do you have any number which is the first or second and th- or, or the third? Not really, because like I think Lech and Zhivet are pretty similar, and Wonja has a slightly different taste for me. It has more flavors. Uh, and for me, Wonja has the least uh, taste. Because, so you don't like Wonja? Yeah, yeah. This oh. is the third place for me. Okay, so let's choose between Lech and Zhivet, because anyway, for me, Wonja is like. A beer that you may have like in a small bottle, maybe it's even stronger than the others. It's six uh, percent ABV, and Zhivet is. Black is five. Okay, so maybe this is. It's five point six uh, ABV. So yeah, it's the strongest beer. So maybe this is why I feel that it's like, just to have a little bit of this. So let's choose between Lech and Zhivet. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Should we say it on one, two, three? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. One, two, three. Yes. Yeah. High five. Okay. So we have a winner. Wow. That yeah. was that was fun. <laughs> yeah. But if you want to try some more flavored, like uh, lighter beer, uh, the like is also good. Yeah, I think it's, it's and it's also worth mentioning that Lech has also a variety of alcohol-free choices. So we have so many flavors like grapefruit, orange, uh, cranberry, many many alcohol-free, and also they have the shandy beer, which is like low alcohol because in Poland most alcohol have about five, six percent ABV, which is more than, for example, in the United States. Uh, but you have also many alcohol-free beers and I think Lech has the most uh, choices. So, okay, we have the winner <laughs> and now we are going to try another beers uh, because these all were pale lagers and we also have different kind of lagers to try, uh, for example, Pilsner beer, beer and unfiltered beer, also some gluten-free beer. So. We'll, we'll come back see. to you in the second. So we have uh, the second batch of the beer to try. So I think we should start with these two beers. Because in fact, when you are in Poland, you should try definitely try these two. Uh, both are craft beers, but this Pivos Grodziska is like 700 years old. Uh, it's a top fermented beer and it's called the Champagne Among Beers because the taste is unique. Uh, to be honest, I've never tried it before, but I've been reading so much about it that I hope it won't disappoint me. Uh, it has a 3.1 ABV, which is not that much for the alcohol in Poland. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's not that easy to buy everywhere, but uh, you can get it in Żabka. This is like the grocery store chain in Poland. And this is uh, Porter Bałtycki, Baltic Porter. Um, this is a World Beer Cup Bronze Award. Uh, this is typical beer for uh, Poland. Um, you can also have different kind of Baltic Porters. 
in Poland, but Comes, uh, they say it's the best one. I've also never tried it, pa Patrick neither, because yeah. <laughs> we had no idea, uh, we have, we didn't have no much about be before this video, and <laughs> because uh, before I've been reading about this and Patrick also, and one last okay. year, because this is Książęce Weizen, um, it's the least bitter beer it's it's supposed to be sweet and it's also worth mentioning that książęce brand it's i think the best to try in poland because they have variety of polish beer like they also have uh, ipa they have cherry ale so many kinds of beer they have beautiful website that you can read many things about the beers and also in here they have like uh, the temperature of serving, what you should have this beer with. And so this Faisen is for salad, fishes, uh, fish and seafood. And it's also about the taste. It's the only beer that have a taste uh, on the bottle. And they say it's uh, banana and herbs. Uh, so, okay. We will see. <laughs> <laughs> It's a champagne! They say it's champagne <laughs> among beers, so yeah. yeah, it is a champagne. Wow. They, it was still, so I don't know why. But you said, you know, <laughs> it's like maybe... Whoa! Look at this. It's like, it has so much foam. Wow. It's weird. It's weird, <laughs> but we'll see about the taste. So... Okay, and the Baltic Porter. It's also very strong beer. I think it has like 9% ABV. Yeah, 9%. And it's a dark top fermented beer. So in here, maybe we will show the difference in color. What do you think? Yeah. In here, you can see a difference. The Baltic Porter is dark. Vizen is... The, it, I think it has that banana uh, <laughs> color. <laughs> yeah. And the Champagne, it's... It, it doesn't have the color of the champagne, but yeah. Okay, so we will see. We will see. So I will start with Bar Baltic Porter. Oh, it's definitely not something I like. It tastes like dark coffee, black coffee, and it's strong, like maybe whiskey. I like black coffee, but it's also sweet, so. Well, maybe it's maybe cold brew coffee is similar. Maybe it's like the cold brew coffee with alcohol for me. Yeah, yeah. Do you think so? Yeah, or? yeah. It's not bad, but uh, it's not everyday use yeah. beer. So <laughs> look at this beer. <laughs> yeah, it still has the foam coming. So which one are we going to try next? The second one, I think. Okay, Weizen. So it shouldn't be sweet, I, and I think I will like it. It is bitter and mm, you can taste the fruits, but it's not like the best beer I've ever had. Yes, it's not my favorite, but it's also uh, maybe it's not the fruits, but it's like honey fruit. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe something like a honey flavor. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not sweet, so it's definitely it... worth to try. <laughs> so you can try the champagne first. Nice smell. Mm. Like Żywica, uh, how to say? Uh... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like the juice that you have in the trees. Yeah, the, the uh, three sweet, uh, the spikes. For me, it's like uh, compote. Yeah, it's like a summer <laughs> drink that you, yeah. when you are very thirsty, you can like drink it in one go, maybe if it doesn't have so much foam. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good, I think it's the best of this three for me. For me also, yeah. Yeah, I think it's definitely worth trying. It's not like the beer, it's like... A yeah, something drink. that you can drink every day yeah. when you are thirsty. Yeah, yeah. but it's, it's really good, I think. Okay, so we have four glasses left, so... 
I, um, I suggest to try this książęce Ipa, Ipa? and uh, Cherelli. Okay. So both are uh, top fermented beers. Uh, the cherry ale has uh, 4.1 ABV and this is stronger. It has 5.4 ABV. Oh, cherry ale cherry. have the cherry. I like the color. Four. This is this looks like an lager we have drink before, but cheers. Cheers. In Polish you say na zdrowie. <laughs> I think it's delicious. It's delicious. Yeah, this this yeah. also it's mm. re really cherry f flavor. Wow. And I, I would check the ingredients if it's not. Ah, it's. Uh, it has uh, cherry, cherry syrup. Cherry juice, I think. Juice, maybe syrup. Yeah, but it's, it's, you see that Kshorzenza has very straight, like clean ingredients. They don't yeah. have any sugar or anything that is not necessary, they don't add it. That's why I think the Książęce is the best brand. Actually, there is a, this in this syrup is, it is sugar, sugar right? but, but it's flavored, flavored, so maybe okay. this is because. It tastes like the beer with juice. Yeah. But it's delicious, really. Yeah. And oh. Our kids coming with grandfather, yeah. but I will find, finish uh, with this IPA. So we'll come back to you in a second because our kids are knocking the door. So our kids ba are back with the flowers from mommy. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Yeah, and this IPA I think uh, have the best smell. Smell uh, and the flavor. Uh, yeah. And flavor. Uh, yeah. For really. me, it's like the best beer that we've tried today. I don't know how about you. Mm. It's very good, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm not sure. Yeah. But both beers, like this, is also delicious. It's worth knowing that in Poland, it's really popular to drink um, beer with syrup, usually raspberry or ginger syrup. Uh, so I think many people like this cherry ale. Yeah, you don't have to bring another syrup with you. Yes. <laughs> So uh, maybe we will also try the gluten-free beer because I've never had gluten-free beer before. Uh, it's uh, Pivo Kurtova. They wrote that after the work, uh, the best uh, uh, refreshing and uh, stronger you the, the, the beer. <laughs> Kurtova. Well, I'm not sure it's good to drink a beer after work every day. <laughs> Color oh, is the color is different. I think it's like darker. Yeah. Oh, so you should try first. I think it's just like a beer. For me, it's something to compare to to people's gratis guy. I think. But that it's stronger. It's more than five percent, and this is three. Yeah, I think, but. Uh, it's also something that I can drink every day. Yeah. If you allow me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But this gluten free uh, is just like any other beer, I think. Yeah, it's no difference. Yeah, so you can drink it. If you can't uh, have gluten, that's okay. Free is uh, every. Uh, it's really good. Yeah. So um, maybe yeah. we will also tell about the um, alcohol-free beers because this is the most popular and also the oldest alcohol-free beer. It's called Carmi and also the midwives are still recommended to drink this beer after you give birth to your children uh, because uh, they say that it's like stimulates lactation. Uh, so they, they, it was also recommended to me and I was giving birth four years ago and one and a half year ago. Uh, yeah, so and I, uh, during the second uh, pregnancy, the midwife uh, told me that it's not necessary to drink the carmi because it's uh, sweet and uh, it will be also okay to drink any non-alcoholic drink. Yeah, but also hops, like meal is uh, stimulating lactation, they say. But I really, really like this beer. I think it's so delicious. 
so as I said before, Lech also have many different flavors of alcohol-free beers. But also Varka, Radler. Radler is a type of beer that is a low alcohol. So this is Radler uh, Lemon Radler. Lad Lemon Radler, I think it is the beer speaking, not me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's like a summer drink that you have can have, but it doesn't really taste like a beer, more than like a sweet alcoholic just, drink, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So this is just lemonade with alcohol. Yeah. So <laughs> this is. I think you may have tried something like this uh, during the summer. Yeah. Well, it is not my favorite, but. It's okay to try for someone. Yeah, and uh, Carmi have the dark color, and you can try. And... I have tried so many times. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I can try the first time. It's delicious, really. It's it's sweet and it's not bitter. It's like the best, and it tastes delicious when it's served with um, ice or it's really cold. Yeah, but it, it not tastes really like a beer. It's yeah, more like, more it's... like a cough. Coffee maybe. It's the time of, type of the drink, just carny. <laughs> yeah, for, but, for me. But you should really try it while in Poland. I think it's really worth trying because the taste is pretty unique. I can't compare it to anything else. Mm, it's made in Karlsberg, Polska, so maybe it's also available in other countries. No, I think they bought like Karsbeck bought this brand, but it's Polish. I well, think. Okay. But I'm not sure. Yeah. So we need to clean up the, our glasses, and we will come, come back, back to you, you again. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Miłosław beer is from Browar Fortuna. It is a really good brand, and I think it's also delicious. The smell is perfect. Yeah, I I think that my father told me that uh, it was very popular in the past uh, when I when we were Miłosław uh, Browar Fortuna. Yes, the beer maybe. from there uh, was very uh, popular in the past when we were young. So I think it's good. Yeah. Just good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and also Perwa peels. It's just like another lager for me. I don't see a difference between pale lager at the beginning and this peels. Yeah. I'm very sentimental. <laughs> but you are sentimental yeah. about every beer that you not, are not, trying. Not every, but uh, <laughs> the above was uh, when I mm. was young and uh, during the university uh, we drink Perua. Perua. Yeah. Okay. I think you are not sentimental about this Pinta beer. They say that it's really good, but it's also a craft beer, so both of us has never have never had no. it before so it's also really strong it has 8% ABV which is a lot ah it's so bitter but the uh, smell it's, is yeah. really uh, flavor like uh, oranges and uh, lemons mm. oh, yeah but taste is I think that it's they, they gave too much alcohol to, to yeah, their oh, rest, so it's, it's research. So sure. I, I, no. yeah. And unpasteurized Castellan. Well, compared to all, all the other beers, I, I think I like it before, but right now, not really. I don't think I will ever buy it again. It has no flavors, for me at least. Yeah, also. But I think I think it, this is the most popular beer that we have chosen in the past. In the past, yes, because yeah. because it's it, they said that it's not unpasteurized. Yeah. Uh, it's weird. Yes, <laughs> but okay. And the last one, uh, Namysuf. It's also Pilsner. I think it's good. Yes. But like nothing special. Yeah, but, for me, but it's like, okay for, to, to drink. Just like that, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so for me, out of this I the beers, the best was Miłosław and White IPA. And for you? Also Miłosław and uh, Pszeniczne IPA it from Żywiec. Yeah, so 
Okay, so we have all the beers tried. So maybe we will make another like the conclusion and we'll show you like the winners of our competition and the at the end. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, like the final that we <laughs> cho 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 what we have chosen. So the beer that you should really have in Poland if you want to buy it everywhere is Żywiec. It's the best pale lager that we have. There is also Piwo Grodziska, Champagne Among Beers, uh, Baltic Porter, which is really strong, but this is like the Polish uh, beer. It's originating from Poland. Yeah, and so they gave the World Beer yeah. Cup Bronze Award, so it's... You, sh you should try it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For us it's not the best, but it's it's diff worth yeah trying. it's different than other pairs and we think that the best brand is Książęce. this is Książęce, and uh, they have different flavors on beer and of course Karmi. this is the best alcohol free beer in poland so this is it thank you for watching i hope you like it yeah. uh, let us know if you like if you want Patrick to be more in the videos because this is what we are planning on yeah maybe next time we will try the vodka or, or, or wine, at least. <laughs> Maybe wine. <laughs> so, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.